Understanding Brown Discharge in Early Pregnancy Hello, and welcome to today's discussion on an important topic related to early pregnancy, brown discharge. Many expectant mothers wonder about this phenomenon, so let's delve into what it means, why it occurs, and most importantly, how long brown discharge usually lasts in early pregnancy. What is brown discharge? Brown discharge during pregnancy can be a common experience for many women. This is typically a mixture of blood and vaginal discharge. The brown color is generally due to older blood, which can take longer to leave the body. It's not always a sign of a problem and can sometimes be considered a normal part of early pregnancy. Why does it occur? During the early stages of pregnancy, implantation bleeding can occur. This is when the fertilized egg attaches to the uterine lining, causing a small amount of blood to be released. As this blood takes time to exit the body, it can turn brown. This discharge is typically light and short-lived. Changes in the cervix can also cause brown discharge. During pregnancy, the cervix can become more sensitive, causing light spotting or discharge after sexual intercourse or a pelvic exam. This is generally nothing to worry about. How long does brown discharge last? The duration of brown discharge can vary from woman to woman. Generally speaking, if it's due to implantation bleeding, it might last anywhere from a few hours to a few days. If it's due to changes in the cervix or other non-threatening factors, it might be intermittent throughout pregnancy. However, it's crucial to remember that any continuous or heavy discharge, especially if accompanied by other symptoms such as pain or cramping, should be immediately discussed with a healthcare provider. They can help rule out any potential complications like ectopic pregnancies or miscarriages. To wrap up, brown discharge in early pregnancy is usually not a cause for concern and can last a few hours to a few days, depending on the cause. However, any persistent or severe cases should always be evaluated by a healthcare professional to ensure the health and safety of both the mother and the baby. Thanks for joining us in today's discussion, we hope you found this information helpful, 